today I'm going to show how to edit car photos in Luminar 4. So this is the 2021 Supra that I have here. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is go to light, um, play around with the temperature and see what it does. So for this one it doesn't really do anything so I'm just going to leave that alone. For the exposure I'm going to bump it up 0 0.5 because sometimes um, the exposure comes out like the picture comes out a bit dark and I don't want that to happen and naturally this was taken in the sunset time so this was pretty dark um, I'll bring the highlights down all the way so they'll get all the details from the shadows and the you know the roof of this parking lot here um, then I'm gonna bring the shadows all the way up so that's gonna give us a, a bit more room to play around with the details um, then we're just going to come to the tone curve um, and select three points here. And the reason for that is that this is going to give us a bit of contrast in the image. So I'm going to pull the blacks down, pull the midtones up. And the white part of the image, I'm going to just pull that up a little bit. Guys, um, when you're working on the tone curve, um, don't do too much. Otherwise, your, comes, your picture is going to come out whack. So, if you, if you, you know, adjust it too much, your picture is not going to look good. Um, then you're going to come out to um, AI Enhance. This is what I love about Luminar 4. It has so many things, um, like so many AI things that helps you edit then we're just going to put 25 for sky enhance that's that's just going to enhance the sky a little bit as you can see it becomes a bit more blue then we'll come down to ai structure and this is basically the equivalent of um, clarity in lightroom so i'm going to bring that up up to 25 so that's just going to give it a bit more punch when you post it on Instagram or any social media. Um, then for color, there's where all the magic happens. Um, you put negative 50 for vibrance um, because vibrance affects only the meter tones and especially in this photo because this is a yellow car. Um, it, it's, it makes it a bit easier for us because it doesn't affect the skin tones. Vibrance never affects the skin tones, and skin tones generally fall within orange and yellows. So what I'm gonna do is basically come to the orange and boost the saturation up to 25. Also come to the yellow, boost the saturation up to 25. So that's just going to saturate the um, car a little bit more so that it stands out. Um, you don't really have to worry about the greens because we don't have greens here. Um, the aquas, I just like to take the aquas, the luminous down all the way. And for the blue, I like to bring the saturation up all the way. Hue, I like to... Uh, put it towards a little bit towards the aqua side so I'll put negative 25 so the sky becomes a bit more um, aqua and for the luminance I'm just gonna bring it all the way down actually it's uh, I'll put negative 50 yeah negative 50 looks good um, then purple Pink wouldn't really have to worry about that because we don't have that those colors in this picture. Um, then you go to split toning. You click on Pro. You click on split toning. And for this one, I like to have a bit more warmth in the shadows. I mean, warmth in the highlights and a bit more blue in the shadows. So what I'm going to do is boost the saturation to 25 for the shadows. Don't worry about it, right now it's red. And then for the hue slider, I'm just gonna put 180 because it's a bit of um, teal, kind of bluish teal, kind of blue, you know. Um, then as a contrasting color, I'm just gonna put 
30 for saturation on the highlights and 25. That's going to give it an orangish vibe to the highlights of the image. So as you can see, it's very drastically affect affect our image right here. Um, the car right now is much more um, vibrant and it stands out from the rest of the image. Then we're just going to come down to color enhancer and go to advanced settings. And this is more of like a um, next step to the split toning where you can have um, cyan red to the sh the shadows, magenta green, yellow blue, and you can apply all the same colors to midtones and highlights. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring down um, for the shadows, I'm going to bring it towards the uh, cyan color. So negative 5. Yeah, negative 5 looks good. And for the yellow and blue slider, I'm going to bring it up by 5. So that just gives it a um, bit more um, coolness to the shadows. And for the midtones, I'm going to do the same. So negative five. I'm going to bring the yellow and blue solder up by five. And for the highlights, since um, it's a yellow car, it's a bit of a warm color. I'm just going to add a bit of um, red to the highlights. Not too much, just a little bit. So that looks pretty good. Um, then we're going to come down to layers right here. And for the layers tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add graduated layer. So I'm going to come down to this layer. You can There's a plus sign right on top of this image. You can click on that and it'll say adjustment layer, add an adjustment layer. And all you have to do is just add an adjustment layer and click on edit mask. Click on gradient mask. And right now you're basically going to pull from the bottom up and make it straight a little bit yeah, that's pretty good um, then you're going to click done then you're going to come down to light I mean the basic editing panel and come down to light and bring the exposure down by one full stop what it does is it basically allows the um, viewers eyes to gravitate towards the car you know it creates kind of like a focus point you know um, so yeah that's the editing tutorial this is before and this is after before after before after um, if you like the video please leave a like and thank you for watching